Hi, this is Ria from English Pillars. Today's lesson is about prepositions. Prepositions are always complicated because there are so many prepositions like on, at, in, over, of, to, by, under. There are so many. So it's difficult to understand. Being a teacher, I know most of the students are facing problem in prepositions. There is no hard and fast rule to learn preposition. But the good news is, today you will learn a lesson on preposition with a common theme. There are different themes on prepositions like location, time and direction because prepositions are used for location, time and direction. And for location, we are using commonly three prepositions on, at and in. Let's get started with in. In is used for enclosed area. Rule number one, you need to understand what are the enclosed areas. For example, kitchen, office, washroom, classroom. So these are the closed areas. Let's learn with some examples. Oh, mom is in the kitchen. Hey, I found a cockroach in the washroom. Miss Ria is in the classroom. They are enclosed with certain edges. Rule number two. In is also used for eatables and liquids. For example, pizza, burger, soup, coffee. Let's learn with some examples. Hey, it's too much chili in the pizza. Mom, it's too much sugar in the coffee. Rule number three. In is used for cities, areas and regions. Let's learn with some examples. Traffic rules are too much strict in Chandigarh. There is a lot of greenery in the village. Houses are pink in Jaipur. Rule number four. In is used with group of people. For example, if somebody is working with group of people like departments or a team, then you can use in. For example, she's working in the government department or she's working in the marketing team or she's working in the finance department. Let's learn the preposition on. On is used for a flat surface. For example, if you look around yourself, you'll find a lot of flat surfaces. For example, a tabletop, top of the fridge, a book, my hand. It also gives flat surface look. Let's learn with some examples. My mobile is on the table. Have you got keys on the top of the fridge? On is also used in case of rivers lakes and oceans for example there is something floating on the surface of the water there is something floating on the river on the lake on the ocean let's learn the preposition at at is used to describe a specific point of any area any location for example you are on the mall road and you are telling your friend that you are on the mall road but you are at a specific point of the road. It can be a supermarket, it can be a mall, it can be any public place or any public shop. Let's learn with some examples. I met you at the supermarket. Let's meet him at the library. Let's take a look again. In is used for something which is inside which have edges on is used for a flat surfaces and at is used to tell a specific point of any area or or location i hope i have made preposition very clear to you and if you enjoy my lessons then like it share it and do subscribe this channel for my other videos click the links given here 
and thanks for watching english pillars